In this quick tutorial I show to make a very simple animal AI. I will make an advanced series version in the future but this is just a very quick and basic setup for roaming animals or any AI in general. They will roam around with animations and wait for a random time once they reach the destination. They will also sprint randomly with a weighted chance. You can use the master blueprints shown to make any type of AI you want. Here are some foxes. Here are some pigs. Here are some wolves. Here are some quick examples of the AI in a real game environment. Since it is just a very simple roaming setup, you can use it to add some extra smaller details. I will use this free asset from Fab for the animals as they have great models and animations. You can use any. First make a behavior tree. Click new blackboard and make one. Add a vector key called patrol destination. Make a new AI controller now. Add the shown code to event on possess which basically acts as begin play when the AI class is detected. Promote the pawn. This isn't actually used in this video but it is good to promote this just for later usage if you want to build upon the system. Now make a character blueprint. I will set the mesh to the deer by default. Rotate it in Z. Copy this code in the construction script. This automatically aligns the mesh to the base of the capsule when the height is changed. I will reduce the default speed. Set the AI options. Make this function called get AI blackboard. Make sure to set it to a pure function. Make a custom event called patrol and copy this code. As explained in the preview, this is a very simple patrol system. My future Animal AI series will cover this in a lot more detail, similar to how I did it in the Fish AI videos. Make a new behavior tree task and override event receive execute AI. Copy the code.
Go to the behavior tree now. Copy the code. This will call the patrol task first, so a target destination is found. Then it will move to that location using the default move to node. After this it will wait between 0.5 and 4.5 seconds. You can change the wait time to your liking. Now I will do the animations. Make a 1D blend space of your character skeleton. Copy the settings. The wait speed is used so it smoothly transitions between the states. Add idle at 0, walk at 1, and run at 2. We are using these values since I will normalize it between them so that it works for any NPC with different speeds. Make an animation blueprint and select the template option. Go back to the master animal BP and copy the shown code to add random weighted sprinting. You can promote the random bool with weight to a variable if you want to give different NPCs different chances of sprinting. Go back to the animation blueprint and copy the code in event blueprint update animation. This normalizes the current speed between 0 and 2. Add the blend space to the anim graph and connect the speed variable. In the master animal BP, set the anim class by default. Then disable use controller rotation yaw and enable use controller desired rotation. This will make the NPC rotate to the movement direction instead of snapping. To let AI actually move in the world, we need to add something called a NAV mesh bounds volume. Add it to the scene then center it and scale it so it covers the area you want to be moved in. If you scale it in Z it will be able to move up to locations too as long as there is a path to it. You can press P to visualize it. Now add the AI to the world. You can see the deer moves around. I will make a child class of both for the deer. For the Anim BP, just select the target skeleton.
I will quickly show one more example with a pig character. First make the blend space with the same settings. Then make a child class of the Anim BP and select the pig skeleton. Open it, and in asset override settings, open the drop down and change the blend space to the pigs one as the default is the deer. Then simply make a child class of master animal for the pig. Change the mesh and capsule height. You can see it works. I can add more of each. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more content. You can purchase this final result from Patreon if you want, link is in the description. Thanks for watching.